Short passage, short choices, almost always means an easy question. Let's see. George Douglas Johnson wrote many plays in the 1920s and 1930s. At the time, professional theater companies rarely put on plays by black women, so few of Johnson's plays made it to the stage. Only a small number of her plays were published in her lifetime. But, that's our most important word in any passage, but that doesn't mean that Johnson never learned what other people thought of her plays. Johnson hosted weekly get-togethers for fellow black writers and artists in her Washington, D.C. home. Attendees would read or discuss one another's work, including Johnson's own. These uh, gatherings could therefore serve as... I don't know, a way to get feedback, something like that. It's all about getting feedback on the plays. So as feedback, let's just leave it at that. Dumb summary. Uh, A, an occasion for professional theater companies to put on plays. Well, it's really about this one person, not companies generally, and they're not putting them on, right? They're discussing them. So no, an opportunity for Johnson to get feedback on her plays. Okay, that's probably it. But even though my dumb summary is pretty much exactly what the choice is saying, I still I'm going to read all the other choices, right? You always have to. You never know when you're walking into a trap, when you're doing something stupid. So you got to be thorough. A way for Johnson to learn about plays that were produced in other cities. Other cities, who cares? And we're talking about her plays, so who cares? Uh, subject matter for future plays? No. I mean, I'm sure that did happen, but like that doesn't say that. So I don't know about her future plays. So look, this is an obvious you know, answer here. Uh, because it matches my dumb summary. But even still, for all of these wrong answers, I'm thinking of some of the most common trap answer reasons that we see on the SAT. And yes, even for easy questions, where you might just have that intuitive sense that a choice is wrong, we can still link it back to those patterns. Um, So an occasion for professional theater companies to put on plays, this is kind of a main character issue, right? We're not talking about uh, professional theater companies. We're talking about uh, this person, Johnson, right? Uh, C, a way for Johnson to know about plays were produced in other cities. The word other usually is kind of a small versus big issue, right? We're, we're talking about this one place and why are we making a bigger claim about all pl- other places? It doesn't make any sense. And then future plays, well, this is introducing the concept of time, right? Are we talking about time? Is time a factor in here? No. So let's not worry about the past, the present, or the future. Let's just focus on what the passage is saying. So even when you can obviously get rid of answer choices, you should still be practicing this ability to identify specific words that make choices wrong. It's a good, good skill to have. You will need it when things get harder.